Hi, my name is Noodle, and today I'll be teaching you how to use the Nature 2D, how to use the Nature 2D uh, module. So, right now I have this thing scripted, but I'll teach you from scratch. So, basically, basically. You want a screen GUI uh, and a frame. So the frame will like act as canvas for the game. I'll make my canvas blue. Okay. I'll add a local script inside the screen GUI. Also, you need the Nature 2D module, which can be found, which can be found in. Here, I'll have the link in the description. But you just gotta get it and then go to a toolbox and insert Nature 2D. So once you have all that, I'm you can rename this to canvas if you want. I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add another frame. Uh, and I'm gonna call it object. So now I'll make the object red. I'll go into a local script, and then I'll have to get uh, replicated storage. So local replic replicated storage equals game get service. Replicated storage. Now you gotta get Nature 2D. So you do local Nature 2D equals require replicated storage dot Nature 2D. So once you have all of that, you have to initialize the engine. So you just do Local engine equals nature two D dot you have to do nature two D dot in it. Now now he, he, here's where you have to do you have to make another variable for screen UI. So you just do local screen UI equals script dot parent. I'll make another variable for my canvas. So I'll make it local canvas equals screen GUI dot canvas. And I'll make another one for my object. Local object equals canvas dot object. Okay. So I'll just do init screen GUI. Now that I have that, you have to you have to uh, create a rigid body. It shows you here in the API documentation. You have to do engine create rigid body. So I'll just do that right now. Engine create rigid body. This. Now I can, I can make the object local object equals object. And I can make it like anchored equals false. I can make it. I can make it collidable. Collidable equals true. Okay, now that I have created a rigid body, whenever I start the engine, the object is going to be a rigid body. It's whatever it ha whatever properties it has. It's is what's going to happen to the rigid body. So I can do and I can do task dot wait three seconds let's say I can do engine start I now I can do play I can hit play and it will uh it will show us it'll work in three seconds so it'll drop down once. So, I'll 
for, for the next tutorial, I'll show you how to add functionality and how to trigger events. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.